Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon if you're watching this later in the day. I wanted to wait about 8 o'clock this morning. That way I can get all the latest updates on you guys. As far as Storm Henri, it's already been downgraded to a tropical storm and expected to weaken greatly. However, it is a big storm with a lot of rain bands going on. There is a lot of issues still, including tornadoes. If you've never been here before, hello. <laughs> My name is Mark. I do upload every single day. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. But we'll make special occasions if there is a big risk going on, of course. But make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am all year round. Because not only with Hurricane Tropical Storm Henri, we still have the next two waves coming. And I've been showing that for a while now. And they're still showing they're coming, guys. All I ask is if you know anybody that's in these impacts, please share this information on social media. Alert others to what's going on with the storm. If you don't use social media, just hit the like button. YouTube will suggest it for you. Hit the like button, guys, if y'all loving these tropical updates. Because I'm showing sure we're about to get into some very hairy situations with this next wave that's coming. Now, right now, Honoree is going around, turning into a tropical storm already, but the bands are reaching over 150 miles away from the center. So there's a lot of storms going on with this tropical storm, as well as the wind gust. The wind gust has been picking up. Right now, it is at 40, 50 miles per hour over eastern Pennsylvania, as well as New Jersey. Long Island is getting almost 40 miles per hour, and Connecticut is getting into the high 30s to the 40 miles per hour wind gusts as well. So this is a pretty serious storm. Thank God it did ramp down some. As far as your 8 o'clock update, Honoree has downgraded to a tropical storm, 70 miles per hour winds, and expecting to degrade very quickly. It is 986 millibars. It is moving north at 18 miles per hour. And that disturbance 1 is weakening. It's down to 10% chance in the next 5 days. It's not expected to make it. But then again, Honoree was supposed to twirl around and go out to the North Atlantic, so anything can still happen. For today, you have a 2% for tornadoes in this green and a 5% in this brown. And you also have a 2% in this green over here for the New England states because of Honoree. And the brown section is Mitchell, South Dakota, Hur Huron, South Dakota. The green sections are Boston, Massachusetts, Omaha, Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska, Providence, Rhode Island, and Worcester, Massachusetts. So, so far for the chance for tropical storm force winds, you do have 100% for at least 34 miles per hour winds in this purple. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, all the way around this green. For a chance of 60 miles per hour winds, it has moved a little to the east. And you are in 90 in this red, 80 in the orange, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 in this green for 60 miles per hour winds. And for hurricane force winds, I've grown very small. This green right here is 20% chance for hurricane force winds of at least 74 miles per hour. And then you have the 10% chance right in this area. And that's these bands flying around. That's why you have also this tornado risk in this area as well. It's only a tropical storm, but tropical storms do do a lot of damage, guys. And it will be a depression by 2 o'clock tomorrow morning and moving out to the east. Expected rainfall for the next three days has changed. You have 1 to 2 inches in this light green, 2 to 4 inches in a dark green, and you got 4 to 6 inches in all this yellow. All these orange spots is 6 to 10 inches expected. And your flash flooding has gone up also. You have all this marginal right here for Delaware, Maryland, going all the way around to Maine. You have a slight risk in this yellow, and you have this marginal risk in all this red for flash flooding. Tomorrow morning is your flash flooding expected. You have the marginal in the green, the slight in the yellow, and the moderate risk in the red. Through Tuesday morning, you have a marginal in the green and a slight risk in the yellow. Expected storm surge is pretty much the same. It's still one to three feet along the east coast of New Jersey. Two to four feet along Long Island, and Long Island Sound is still three to five feet all the way around to Nantucket Sound. It's still two to four feet around Cape Cod. They have grown a section from one to three feet all the way to Merrimack River. So you're in a storm surge watch in this pink area here, all up here by Barnstable as well, and you're in a storm surge warning in all this pink. And the latest guidance shows that it will be right here in 24 hours, and it will be leaving out in 48 hours out the east-northeast. And right now it's downgrading quickly and in the next 24 hours it will either be a medium tropical storm to a possible strong tropical depression. Either way as it leaves out it is going to be weakening greatly. Some show it will stay a tropical storm. It is, it is expected to stay a tropical depression. Plus our next storm is still coming now. NOAA is starting to pick up some things on our radar. From August 25th to August 31st they're expected a development of a tropical cyclone of a tropical depression or greater in this region right here. Also for this region right here, you got the East Pack, you got the 
Bay of Campeche, and you got the Western Caribbean. And that's right where our first wave is coming in. And our second wave is still coming right behind it. Now I'm going to show you the difference in the model guidance and intensity so you know what to expect from all of them. This is GFS 8 o'clock this morning. Has it down to 990 and it starts degrading pretty quickly. By 2 o'clock this afternoon it will be a 996. All west side loaded with these storms still. As it moves to later to tonight, 8 p.m., it starts getting weak dramatically. But this is where you get a lot of rainfall for New York. As it goes to 2 a.m., it starts weakening down. Then it's going to spin back out by 2 p.m. Tomorrow afternoon, 5 p.m., it's going to be over to New England states again on the way out. And tomorrow, they'll be east side loaded with the storms. And the wind gusts show pretty mild for GFS and the other models as well. It shows that you will get up to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. Maybe the edge of 60 for lower Rhode Island as it comes on shore, but it is downgrading quickly. You're going to be from the 50 miles per hour wind gust 11 o'clock this morning, and then it will go down all the way to the 30 miles per hour wind gust. You have, we'll, we'll have a section over here by Hartford and Springfield still in the 50s, according to the GFS, by 2 o'clock this afternoon. Then it will all start weakening down greatly. For the next 36 hours, GFS has... Allentown and Bridgewater over two inches, New York City as well, Yonkers over three, Middletown over two, Waterbury over two, Poughkeepsie over three. Now the Euro has it down to a 986 by 8 o'clock this morning and weakening down to a 992 by 2 o'clock p.m. Then by 8 o'clock tonight and 2 o'clock in the morning is still expected to be right here. West Side Load is still putting storms in. And by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, it's going to weaken down and go out to east. Still east side loaded on the storms. Euro shows it be more of a northern track as it leaves. And the wind gust from the Euro shows that by 2 p.m. this afternoon, you're still going to be getting 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. So the Euro does show stronger wind gusts. Then as you go to 8 o'clock tonight, it will start calming down to your high 50s. But this section is really showing by the Euro that it will have 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts all afternoon long. And as you go in at 2 o'clock in the morning, it will start calming down, moving to the west, and everybody's going to stay in about 30s until it leaves. Now, the Euro also shows a little bit heavier for New Jersey. It's got Vineland over an inch, Philadelphia, inch and a half. You got Toms River over an inch, Long Branch over two, Trenton over two, Bridgewater almost three, Allentown, Pennsylvania over an inch, New York City almost five, Yonkers over five, Brentwood over five. So it's a big heavy area right here, according to the Euro. Poughkeepsie almost four, Middletown over three, Hartford, Norwich, and Waterbury almost three, as well as Springfield. Now the NAN 3K brings it to 988 as it goes at 8 o'clock this morning. Starts weakening down by 11 o'clock to 990. And you can see all the storms coming with it as it is west side loaded. And way down here to New York and New Jersey. As you go into 4 o'clock this afternoon, 5, 6 o'clock this afternoon, you're still getting all this rain, especially for New York. And all afternoon long, all these bands are going to be hitting y'all all afternoon, all night long, until tomorrow morning, and when it finally starts leaving out. And so far, the Euro is the strongest one. The NAM 3K shows that it'll be 40 miles per hour wind gusts. As you're going at 10 o'clock this morning, it might get up to 50, possible for 60 in between 10 and 12. But it stays around high 50s, according to the NAM 3K, almost 60. As you go into 1, 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon, big hot spot moving across Massachusetts as you go all afternoon long, and then it's gonna start wilding down about 6 p.m. tonight. But you will have 30 miles per hour wind gusts all night long into the early morning hours. And then it'll finally start leaving around 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The winds will calm down, and it'll start making its eastward push around noon. Now, NAM 3K does show some heavier rainfall. It shows Tom's River, Philadelphia over an inch, Trenton over two inches, Bridgewater over five, Allentown, Scranton over two, Middletown over two, Poughkeepsie over three, all the models are showing that you are getting a lot of rainfall. New York City um, only an inch though, Euro showed almost five inches or more. The NAM 3K is only showing over an inch for New York City, Yonkers, and Brentwood, as well as Connecticut. Springfield, Massachusetts getting almost three inches. So Euro shows it's heavier right here, NAM shows it's more spread out because of the bands are reaching way out, up to 150 miles, that's pretty far away. The high resolution rapid refresh shows it the weakest. It shows that it'd be down to 996 by 8 o'clock this morning. And as it moves on land, big rain bands going all the way around. By 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, then it's going to weaken down to 1,000 millibars. But it's showing the same as the rest. It's going to move to the west. It's going to have all the storms west side loaded. 
you're gonna be getting a lot of rainfall. And wind gusts show even weaker with high resolution rap refresh. It shows 40 miles per hour wind gusts, maybe up to 50 for Eastern Long Island, but it gets all the way down to 40s and 30s dramatically by 1 p.m. this afternoon. Still brings that puff of high damaging winds towards Springfield. That's almost in all the models at all afternoon long. You're gonna be the one getting the 50 miles per hour winds as this all stays around 30s to high 30s for everybody else. And high resolution rapid refresh shows that Tom's River Trenton will get over three inches. It's showing the same as NAM 3K that Yonkers in New York City won't be that heavy. But it's showing Middletown almost five inches now with Scranton over two. Still showing that the next storms are still coming, guys. 24th, I'm showing it's going to start brewing up and it's going to be really strong by the 26th. And it's going to last all the way to the end of the month. The Euro shows the same information all the way from the 24th all the way towards the 28th, 29th, towards the 30th, towards the end of the month. We got something big coming. Now, according to the Euro, this is all the way onto the 26th. And it does take that western push towards uh, eastern Mexico, southern Texas. And sometime around the 30th, something's going on in the western half of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, this is from the GFS. I'm going to show you a previous run, and I'm going to show you an updated run from this morning so you can see the two differences. because there's a lot of wild card action going on. This is around the 26th, GFS picking it up also as our next wave coming through the Caribbean, gets some good rotation, gets in the Gulf of Mexico, and it starts going towards Mexico, a little bit towards southern Texas. Then our next wave cycles right up right after that, and so far on this older run, it shows it goes towards the east side of Florida, gets hit with the cold front, and gets smacked away into the Atlantic Ocean. Now the updated run shows a wave coming through on the 26th still, going through the western of the Gulf of Mexico, and it shows it kind of sporadic and broke up. It looks like it has good formation right there, but it gets really broke up before landfall. So something definitely is coming up, is being picked up by both models. And this next wave that comes up right behind it, this is all the way on the 1st, this thing starts getting really squirrely and goes towards the Gulf of Mexico. So far towards Louisiana, maybe Texas. So as we look through the possible cyclone ensembles to see what the chance of intensity can be, you see right here on the 27th going into the 28th, the storms could come in and it could be either intensified and go towards Louisiana or intensified and going towards Texas. With the second wave coming through the Caribbean, that one could either go towards Texas as a very strong storm, with this pink right here that gets it down to a 950 millibar or less, or it could be this intensification going towards Florida. And this is being picked up by a lot of the ensembles. So I will show you what each one shows real quick. Look right here on E8. This is on the 28th. Shows are getting into the Gulf of Mexico and going towards Texas. Look right here on E10. It shows instead of going to Texas, it goes towards Mexico. Right here on E15, it shows instead of Texas or Mexico, it could go towards Louisiana. So all three are still in play for that first wave. Look right here on 23, it shows once again that instead of going towards Louisiana, that it could still go towards Texas. You look right here on 21st, it shows you about that second wave. This is all the way to the 3rd of September, and it shows that it will get into the Gulf and could be a problem for Alabama, Florida, Mississippi. It is growing strong. We also have the one right here on E14, it shows both. You see how it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, it starts getting intensification and some squirrely action going on right there. And I don't know whether it wants to go back in the Gulf, Texas, or Mexico. But you can also see the second wave comes in as that one's dancing around. And we could actually have two. Now, when I check for a tropical storm, you can see that right around the 28th, it does get a percentage for a chance for a tropical storm right here in the Western Caribbean. And so far, it goes towards Texas. And the latest runs on the GFS takes it a little more northern every time. Right there is a 995, the next one was a 984, a little more northern, and then the next one was a 978. So the one thing that's really happening is it's showing stronger and stronger, and it's showing more northern with these impacts. So it could be a northern Mexico, a southern Texas problem. And the CMC also, it picks up as a 980 going towards Texas, and then the latest run brings it to a 987, a little more northern. The Euro picks it up for southern Texas, but it takes it a little bit further. Instead of the 28th, it shows it for the 30th. Now, this is live look, so we have on our radar. And it, not only that, I'm just only going to be the only upload for today, because I'm showing that not only a tropical storm, this will weaken down greatly, and your biggest threat is going to be the flooding. 
Now we'll upload tomorrow again and talk about this next wave coming through because that is going to be our next storm. And when it starts getting on radar with NOAA, I will start uploading two a day. And if you've never been here before, this is a favorite part of my channel, the best part of my day. I speak the word of our Father. Amen. God bless you all. Hope you all will be safe through these impacts. I'm so happy that it downgraded so much. Hopefully it goes down to a tropical depression by this afternoon and just weakens greatly. Watch out for the flooding. The flooding will be a serious event for y'all. God bless you all. Now today I'm going to read Psalm 63. O oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy love and kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Amen. Hope you all have a very blessed and a very glad Sunday out there. God bless all of you in these impacts. I do hope it will be quickly with no harm. I do hope you keep power. I did look at the power outages. So far, I didn't see nothing major going on, but it is starting to get on land now really good. Thank you again for visiting my channel today, guys. I will update you all again in the morning on what's going on in these next storms because I'm still showing it's going to be a big one. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Won't be long.